How you doing? This is Robert with Automotive Diagnostic Solutions. Uh, today we're going to be programming, just want to go over a quick video, uh, programming a radio that's been replaced. In this case, it's an 09 Yukon. It was a used radio that was installed. Um, just want to go over a couple of steps because uh, we get this call a lot. So with uh, I'm on GM Tista Web. This is where I have to get the file to load into this computer. And of course, it's asking for some options. It wants the RPO codes, U2K, UBS, etc. So here's where we get them from. <clears throat> Should be able to find it in the glove box. Right there on that tag. So what I do is usually take a picture of it with my cell phone and use that to enter it instead of making multiple trips back and forth. So I'm going to go ahead and get these codes entered and continue on with this programming. Alright, so I've determined this vehicle uses, uh, it has a U3, I'm sorry, UVB option. So that's navigation radio without XM. So we're going to click that and hit next. Next. <clears throat> it should pull up. The next screen should have uh, the calibration files for the vehicle. And there it is. So see all these these asterisks um, every one of those you have to pick an option so we're going to go down here and click on the first one and it's for vehicles without rear view camera uvc i already know mine is not uvc so i'm going to run through and and select and fill out all these options and then uh we should be able to get this program started so see how crazy this is there's so many options like this one here is for middle east saudi arabia only Obviously, that's not us. Uh, now, this is for UQA speakers 2008 with RPO Y91 or 09 to 11, which, fit, which fits us with RPO STZ or Y91. So now, again, I have to go get some more codes. I need to find out if we have STZ or Y91 or not. So this is crazy. To, and, and this is it. We're only halfway through. I still have two more options to select. All right, so I'm finally through all the options here. Uh, the tuner is pretty uh, self-explanatory. You know, it's North America, region, domestic tuner. All these other options are like Middle East, um, et cetera. So that's, uh, that's that. So I'm gonna go down here, select next. It's just basically giving the calibrations that it's gonna put in, hit next. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the vehicle off and put the uh, battery charger on it and uh, get this programming started. All right, so we're into the programming screen. So you see the server download status is completed. <clears throat> the reprogramming bar hasn't started yet. Let's see if I can block the sun. Yeah, it's gonna zip across. So I'm gonna show you something real quick. This radio is gonna say lock on the screen. It says theft lock. The second it's done, if this is gonna work, is uh, this should go away. The radio should come on. Maybe even start playing some music sometimes. So. See what we happen, what we get. There we go. It's unlocked. And there's the time. That's it. It covers programming a used GM radio. It doesn't matter whether it's got nav or doesn't have nav. I can tell you that one thing we get calls for a lot is. They've tried to upgrade. They've got one style, but they want to try to go with an MP3 style. I can tell you that does not work. Um, if that radio was never meant to work for that vehicle, it, it, it never will, no matter what programming we put into it. So just a little tip for you if you're having prob problems and found this video because you're having issues with it. So, all right. Thanks, guys.